standing in front of a giant uh, pile of wood. You probably have seen this if you've driven by on our highway here. Uh, this pile of wood is going to become Seven Cedars Hotel. Travis is going to tell us a little bit about how that's going to happen and what the timeline is. So here we go, Travis. Debbie, what we've done for efficiency is We've essentially had all the stick frame materials delivered on site, and we've pre-panelized the walls horizontally where men can safely work slightly easier. And for the ease of production, when the tower crane arrives June 25th, and we pour out the second floor deck, what will happen is all the horizontal walls that you see are separated floor by floor by floor. So they, we will then fly those walls into place we will set those walls, and what we've done is we've taken all the construction time needed to stick frame the walls in place and done it ahead of time. What that does is it allows us to be more efficient in standing the hotel structure. Essentially, all the wood that everyone sees when they're driving by here, except for the roof, everything for the hotel is on site. And all these horizontal piles of wood are gonna become a vertical five-story hotel for the Seven Cedars team. Okay, so now we're on the inside of the construction project. And Travis is gonna tell you a little bit about what this is and why we are standing here. So Travis, what's this? What this is, these are the actual fifth floor walls where we have some of the most prestigious hotel rooms of the complex. We have the corner suites and that's what these guys are actually working on which have a, not only a beautiful view, but a luxurious, spacious location and a ton of space. And yeah. the interior is unbelievable. They're almost a thousand square feet. They divide into two parts. Part of that will be the bedroom portion and the other part is the living portion. So on the top floor, the fifth floor, each of the four corners has a corner suite. That will be a pretty special spot. And this is the last part of the framing of all the walls. We're actually now just completing the last of the corner suites. Once these corner suites are done on Monday, the last thing is we'll be just receiving the delivery of trusses and roof decking material. And in a few short weeks, these walls will start going vertical on the building. Uh, it's, it's been an amazing project to watch the wood come in and watch people making, even down to, as you told me earlier, even the walls of the bathrooms are being constructed right here on site. And to even further go past that, Debbie, actually all the toilet accessories, everything that is in the wall that hangs on something, the blocking has already been pre-assembled in these woods. For bathroom mirrors, for shelving, toilet paper holders, these walls have been essentially prefabricated in place the same as they would if we were building them in place in a vertical structure. We have the safety factor and the efficiency factor. And the other thing that we'd like to mention is because we're in the Great Pacific Northwest and wood has been such a large part of the industry, the forethought of the Seven Cedars team making sure that we're using local resources and local people has been such a great part of the teams that we're building here and it's been a gratifying experience to use local materials and local people to build something that means so much to the entire peninsula community well and i think you just hit on a very important uh, part of what we're doing throughout this project is uh, very thoughtful thinking about what matters uh, through this lens of seven generations. So we use that word seven quite a bit. Uh, this is one more place of using the thoughtful process of seven seeders, seven generations, and, uh, and we're both pretty excited to be part of this team. So uh, one really important additional question, Travis, are we on schedule? We are completely on schedule. We're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> so. Stay tuned, we'll be back with you in a couple of weeks with some more information about the, uh, the timing and I uh, hope you've enjoyed our additional vlog today.